Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be on the unboxing and review, first impression, makeup look, all in one video on the Take Me On Vacation palette by Kylie Cosmetics. So to see what I think about this palette and the collection itself, just keep watching. All right guys, so I'm gonna jump right into the review. Um, as you could tell, my whole face is done, makeup is done except for the eyes. Of course, I left that for the palette. I'm gonna make a look out of it. So as you guys can tell, this is the Take Me On Vacation palette. This is the only thing I ordered from the collection just because I felt like this gravitated to me more than anything else on the collection. When you open the box, of course, it comes with whatever item you ordered. And as always, she has the little note from Kylie. And I feel like every time the notes are different. So this one, it has like Kylie written all over it in that beige tannish uh, color that's going around in basically the whole entire collection. So on the outside, it's like a tannish cream uh, camel design going around. I like the metallic gold that it has. And of course it has the ingredients and um, all that jazz in the back. So when I open it, God, I hate opening these things because I feel like I'm gonna rip it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's cute. It's like a polka dot. Oh, polka dot bikini girl. I see you, I see you. I get it it's like summer polka dot bikini well that's what i understood from it maybe she's thinking something different but i thought that was cute all right so this is the palette it is cream color so it doesn't have that camel that the packaging had i kind of don't like that the names are on the back just because i have to keep on flipping and like aligning them to see which one i'm using that's a little uh i don't know a little thing i don't like before I open this, I wanna let you guys know that it was retailed for $52, which I thought was not bad because um, it is Kylie Cosmetics and it is a palette. And I also noticed that everything on the collection got more expensive, so I don't know if it's just for this collection or if she's amping up her game um, with getting that coin, girl. And by the way, None of this is sponsored. I bought this with my own money. So this is gonna be a truthful and honest opinion of mine as I always am. So let's go ahead and take a look. When you open it, oh, that's cute. Okay, okay. So we have the little uh, clear slide thing that we don't need. Okay, can we bend it back? Okay, okay, I like that. So right off the bat, I thought that this palette is beautiful. The shades are so pretty. I don't know about the pigmentation since I haven't picked it up or swatched for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and make a look and see how I like it. And for some of the shades that are kind of catching my eye, especially that blue one, I feel like that blue was like the reason I bought the palette. You know me, I like poppy colors. Along with the palette, it comes with a brush. It is two-sided, so it's like a shadow and blending duo. Now, something I wanna mention about this palette is that she said it's a new formula, everything is new, blah, blah, blah. And that is the reason why I bought it because I have to say that when I bought the Royal Peach palette, I don't know why, but okay, I wear a prescription contact and every time I would use the Royal Peach palette, my contacts would like cloud up. I feel like it was the fallout from the shadows. Like I honestly didn't get it. And I noticed every time I use that palette, my cl my my clouds, <laughs> my contacts would cloud up. I don't know if I'm the only one that had that issue. Did any of you guys have that issue? Leave a comment down below because your girl is curious. So hopefully I don't have that problem with this palette. I legit had to take my contacts out and clean them and put them back in and they would still get cloudy. It was the weirdest thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush because I wanna use everything that comes with this package. So just like any other time I do my makeup, I for sure have to prime my eyes. So I'm gonna do that again for you guys. Um, as you could tell, I have nothing on my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime them. It's the weirdest thing. I have never in my life um, done my face before my eyes. So this is a little weird for me that like my face is already snatched and I'm kind of like bald in my eyes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some primer. This is 
uh, Soft Ochre by MAC. As you guys probably already know from my previous videos, I love using this primer. Another thing I love to do is put translucent powder on top of my primer just so it glides super smoothly but I just want to see what this palette is capable of doing so I'm not going to put my translucent powder just so we could see you know I'm curious. So I'm going to pick up the Kylie Jenner brush that comes with the palette. I'm going to go in with this shade right here as my transition color. We'll see okay it picked up pretty well. And this shade is called Sea Breeze. Something else that the Royal Peach palette had that this one doesn't have is that kind of weird smell of like tires. That's literally what I picked up. Right when I smelled the palette, I'm like, this smells like tires. But this Take Me On Vacation palette does not have that scent. I'm guessing maybe it's from the formula. So this color was a little light. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these two shades right here. These two shades are called Coconut and On The Rocks. So I could definitely say that these shades are pigmented, they blend really nice. I'm going to pick up a M330 just so we could, you know, get a variety of what this palette could do. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Spray Tan. I'm going to pick up my E27 and kind of just blend this all together. Next up, I'm going to go in with Palm Tree and I'm just going to kind of add that on the ends of my eye. Just going to kind of blend it towards the eye. Could bring it up here too. This is very cute. For like summer, I could definitely see me using it. I do want to add a pop of color shimmer onto my lids. And I did hear that this palette's shimmer shades are not too pigmented. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch some on my fingers just so you guys could see. So I'm going to go in with Summer 17. That's It's not too bad. Next up, I'm going to go in with Paradise. This one... It's really pretty pigmentation is it's not bad i mean that that's pretty that's pretty poppy in my opinion now the blue let's see what this does my friend okay okay now that that is pigmented on the finger let's see what happens oh that's sad <laughs> You guys, look how pigmented it is on my finger, and then... Oh, I'm kind of disappointed. I was really looking forward to this color. I'm going to go on a second time. Okay, the second time, it's definitely more pigmented. And that, by the way, was named Island Girl. That's so cute. This one is Sail Away, which is a nice, like, brownie champagne color. Okay, that's that's cute. That's cute. And the last one is Surfboard. Ooh, that's pretty. If you guys know me, you know that I love anything green. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, the pigmentation on Island Girl and Surfboard are a little off. So I would probably recommend MAC Fix Plus spraying it on your brush and then applying it onto your eyes. I'm going to go in with a clean brush into Aloha. I didn't spray with MAC Fix Plus. I just want to see, uh, you know, what it could do. What, what, what's the powers in this one? Okay. Um, it's it's kind of sheer. Just a little. Just a little sheer. Go back. Go back at it. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely thinking it would be more poppy. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. This color is not too bad. Now I want to see what it'll do with MAC Fix Plus, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, let's open this, spray my brush, and go on with Aloha. Oh, this is, yeah. I definitely recommend some MAC Fix Plus. Just to deepen things up a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and mix these two shades right here. And then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and pick up this shade right here. I'm just gonna go in with these two shades right here. I feel like I need more, more color up here, girl. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara, lashes, maybe even a little bit of liner in my waterline, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so my final thought on this palette is that I think it's super cute. Like the this look that I came out with, it's very summery. Like you could wear it out in the day or at night. So I feel like the color scheme on this palette is pretty spot on. There are lots of colors that you could use in this palette to come up with so many different looks. And I could just say that stay tuned because I'm gonna bring this palette out again for another video. I don't have that clouding um, in my contacts for now, which is good. Maybe you could read in the description box down below and I'll keep you guys updated on what happens with the shadows or even if it clouds up my contacts like it did with the Royal Peach palette. Overall, do I think it's worth it? I would say yes, because I really like the colors. They really gravitated to me, and plus it comes with so many different shades. It comes with a duo brush. And this palette's definitely gonna live by its name. I'll take it on vacation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I will be back again with another video soon. Bye, guys.